Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. You're not. I am. You're not. I am. I am and you're not. <laughs> guys, what part of the day is it? What time of day is it that you're watching this? What are you eating? I got my coffee. I'm ready to eat some more Chinese food. Guys, I interrupted this and kind of, uh, I don't know, I, uh, I taped this message that I found in my lap that had to do with um, baby oil, the CFO of Johnson & Johnson, and what they're going to do now that their biggest client, the most sales that they've ever sold, that that one consumer is behind bars and what they're going to do now that P. Diddy, their biggest consumer of baby oil, is locked up. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Do they have to sell Johnson & Johnson? Let's listen up, guys. Let's listen up. Yes, um, is this the, is this the CFO for Johnson & Johnson? Yes, this is Dickie Johnson. Yes, I'd, like, yes, I'd like to get a comment, please, about the drop in sales. What drop in sales? Since, since um, Mr. Uh, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Diddy Daddy, uh, Daddy Diddy, Diddler. Who? Who? Dids, uh, the Puffy Man, Cheese Puff, uh, Sean Combs, yeah, uh, since he... Come on with it. Hasn't bought any uh, baby oil in the past. Come on with it. In the past week or two weeks, has it been? Just wanted to know about the sales dip and uh, how you how, how you how you guys will recover from that. If if you guys need to sell the company now, or if you need, we might to, need to borrow uh, some money. It, what are you going to do about... We might need um, to borrow some money. sales. We can right. rally around some people. Yeah. And so so you, you're going to try to rally? Rally to get Diddy out? So that he We're can gonna... continue to Diddy with himself? So that you can keep the Absolutely. Baby oil, that's what business and money? That's what we're trying to do. You, Wanna... you, you think you're going to go... Oh, if he doesn't come out of jail, you're going to have to start selling some shares. We might have to do that. That would be so, correct. Uh, that would be correct. <laughs> so, uh, how many times, how many times, um, a year? A year. Did he, um, did he buy the baby oil in bulk like that? A year. He bought a thousand, a thousand bottles at a time. Is that a little travel size? No, 16 ounces. Oh. The big one. Oh my goodness. The big one. Oh my. Sixteen oh my, ounces. My, my. <coughs> so how many sixteen ounces? Did he get a discount? Absolutely no discount. He got ounces. no discount. That's a pound. That would be correct. That's a pound, right? That would be correct. Sixteen ounces, that's a pound. That would be correct. He bought a thousand pounds. That'd be correct. That's correct. Wow. That's half a ton right there. That would be correct. That's Wow. So, how many times um, a year? How long did it last? A what? year, mate? Yeah, he got, got it. it. Like twice a month. Twice a month? He bought a ton of baby oil twice a month. Oh, my good! How was it delivered? Well, well yeah, by freight. came over freight. on his airplane. It freight. came over by freight on his plane, mate. And may, if he ever ran out, he came over maybe twice, three times maybe a month if he ran out. Well, if he run out? How are you going to, oh my goodness. Did it, did it come accompanied by somebody or was it able to come unaccompanied all the baby oil? Well, baby oil can come unaccompanied, but the problem is if there's any of that oil missing, all shit was to be paid. So literally... Yeah, it needed supervision. Did you ever meet? <coughs> did you ever meet the diddler? Did you ever meet Puffy? Did you ever meet Puff Daddy? Cheese Puff? Did you ever meet him? So yes, I met I met him plenty of times. Um, I've met him as Puff Daddy. I've met him as P Diddy. I've met him as a Cheese Puff, all orange and shit, and with the flakes on his hair that was orange. I met him. I met him. 
As a matter of fact, he personally asked me to um, heat up a bottle of uh, baby oil for him, personally. And then one bottle, he asked you to heat up a little bit, <coughs> and it, it spread it on him, and he picked the bottle. What was that about? Yeah, so my, like I told you before, like he was really paranoid and wanted to make sure that there was nothing inside of the baby oils and stuff, at least nothing inside the baby oils that I was giving him. So he would pick a random bottle and make sure that there was nothing in it and heat it up for him. And yeah, then he asked me to do some stuff, like I said, man. Uh, how much? So, you know, the baby oil is like a dollar. Uh, you guys, a dollar, right? It's a pound by me. So it's a dollar. But if he wanted me to open it and put it on him, it was triple. So it would be three dollars if he wanted me to personally open up the bottle and put it on him. And he liked it. He liked it. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of money. And so what, did that include the shipping? So, no, it did not include the shipping. It only included me opening up a bottle and moisturizing the did stew with it. Yep, in his own plate. <clears throat> But what about the supervision? If it was picked up in his own plane, did somebody from Johnson Johnson still have to go over there and fly with it? Yeah, mate. Like I said, that it, that baby oil under strict supervision, he was very paranoid, did he? He was the only one that was allowed to open and put things in the baby oil. Nobody else was allowed to do that, mate. So, you know, it was on him. On him. Really? Oh, really, did they? Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's something to have all that money, all that money, and the man worried about um, baby oil. At what temperature did he like it? So he liked the temperature at like 112. He had me heated up to about 112 degrees. Really? That's kind of hot, isn't it? He said something about things being hot. Wow. He didn't go sliding off the furniture and stuff. The pieces of furniture and go sliding off must not have been leather furniture. Huh? I mean, there's no plastic on the furniture. It wasn't sliding off like a wet fish or something. Did it go slip slide in a way? Yeah. No? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so now what? Now what are you going to do with all that? Well, he's still on contract to buy the baby oil. He still has to purchase it, whether he uses it or not. He's on contract. Because he was on contract with y'all at that subscribe and save bullshit that you got. Ooh, for how long did he sign? Well, I think he's got like another eight months or so, you know? Another eight months for the year. So that stuff is still going to be delivered. Does it go bad? The baby oil, does it go bad? It doesn't go bad as long as you leave it untouched in the bottle. Do not open it. Oh. Will they let it in the prison or the jail? Is he able to get that baby oil? No. Unfortunately for him, he's got to try a new subscribe and say if he can't take this one and move it to the prison. Not the jail won't allow the previous orders. It's got to be a new order and he can't get out the old order. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's all about the money. It's all about the Benjamins, as they say. All about the Benjamins. <coughs> uh, just like everybody else, mate. We're in business to make money. As long as we can make it as difficult as possible and take as much money as we can, we're okay with that, man. We don't give a shit who somebody is or what they're doing with the baby oil. As long as they're buying it, it's all right with us. Yeah, absolutely, I do. I do. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. And appreciate everything you said. Me too. Thanks for the interview, mate. And if you know anybody needing some baby oil, we got to make up for some bottles that won't be bought for the next foreseeable future because of this. Yeah. 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 Well, listen. If you, I can understand it. I hope. I hope that you don't go out of business either. And I guess at least you got another eight months. All right, then you take care of yourself, yeah? Okay, bye-bye. All right, guys, this is Issues with Taddy One Skip. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share.
Have a good day. Be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Thanks, guys.